All right, so I kind of promised myself that I was going to make one of these videos eventually, and it kind of made sense to me to go ahead and do this a little after one year of being a automotive technician. Uh, this video is going to conclude of everything that I have uh, kind of acquired uh, as a technician in the matter of just over a year. So hopefully there's not too much background noise. I'm currently in the shop. There's always shop noises going on. So bear with me while I uh, make this video for y'all. Uh, hopefully the audio quality is good. We're using the DJI mic. So hopefully it's better than the standard iPhone microphone. And we are also set up, or you guys are set up on the DJI Osmo Mobile 6 for uh, some smooth capture. But uh, what I have right here in front of me, um, I didn't have this for quite a while actually. This is the US General Series 2 five drawer roll cart. Um, before this, let me show you actually. I have it in my car. Let me show you. I started off fresh with uh, just this. Just the regular DeWalt set of tools. Uh, bring this in closer for y'all to see. This is all I had. This is all I started with. This is all I really needed in the beginning um, until I started getting into some more bigger jobs. Um, but this little set right here was a Christmas gift years ago from my dad. Um, and it lasted me a good while. A good while. I mean, you've got three eighths ratchet. Um, you got extensions. Uh, you got adapters, and of course you have uh, bits and uh, a little bit of mix of uh, metric and SAE uh, sockets. Now I probably use this for, say, a good solid month to maybe month and a half. Um, it, it, it started to get to the point very quickly where I realized that I needed more tools and without them I wasn't going to succeed or be in the position that I'm at uh, currently today. So it was time to open the wallet, if you may, and uh, not necessarily drown myself in debt, but definitely uh, make some purchases probably not necessary. You're going to see some of the things in here later in this video where it probably wasn't necessary for me to go all out on some of these items, but I did uh, because I wanted to kind of future-proof myself in the long run so that I wouldn't find myself having to come back later uh, needing some of these tools uh, that I may need, you know, in, in, in the future, you know, if I didn't have them. But because I have them now, uh, they will always be there later. And it's always best to have it, in my opinion, it is always best to have that one tool you never thought you needed um, until you actually need it. So, uh, but I started off with this and then eventually I finally worked my way to getting a cart because I was originally hauling around a bag. So I started with this. I'm gonna throw these out, by the way. These uh, I just, literally not too long ago, maybe a couple days ago, I uh, upgraded. These, um, not to get off track, but these are the Pengong, Pengong uh, screwdriver set. And anyways, this is what I started off with, screwdriver set wise. Uh, you got stubbies, mids, longs, uh, a couple different Phillips head sizes and flat head sizes. Um, but I've used these for a year and I kind of figured Amazon set, nice set, 
great set to have at the house, uh, but I wanted to upgrade. So you all see the upgraded version um, of what I got screwdriver set wise. But yeah, that's me getting off track for a second. But basically I upgraded to the box and you'll see as I go through, I, I, I'm, I'm thinking of it now and I don't know if I want to walk you through what I got first and then kind of built up on or if I just show you from like top to bottom. Um, I'm thinking I might just show you top to bottom and kind of let you know, you know, when I really got it. Um, if that if that honestly matters, I don't know, to be honest. Uh, but y'all here to see what's inside of this US General. And if you can tell, there's another box right over here. Maybe the camera is picking it up. I'm not too certain, but that sucker right there. Um, interesting story, but we'll save that for a little bit later. Let's get into what I have packed inside of my US General Series 2 five drawer roll cart. All right, so walking right up to the roll cart here, first thing you're gonna notice as soon as you open it up is the sockets. We have the uh, wheel lug nut sockets that protect your wheels. Um, we got those in a few different sizes. These are from Billet Tools, and uh, they've honestly worked pretty great, to be honest with you, but uh, except this 22 here. This 22, um, I may not be able to do this one-handed, but I can. But this guy never stays on, so I'm gonna keep it real. Whenever I'm removing lug nuts on uh, 22 uh, millimeters, I just take this off and then I put it back on when I'm done. Uh, yeah. Socket set, quarter inch, three-eighths, half-inch, all from Capri Tools. This is a collaboration between Capri and Westling for the socket rails, if you're interested. These socket rails are actually super cool. Um, no, uh, no hard yanking the socket off or anything like that. Just a me little metal tab that seats perfectly. Um, and yeah, I've, I've, I've loved this set. This set I've actually only had for maybe, oh geez, probably two months, uh, but it's treated me very, very well. Uh, at, that is the three eighths and the quarter inch, by the way. I have had the half inch set for a lot longer. Um, but as of recently, I finally upgraded a true full three eighths socket set shallow mids and deeps and then of course the quarter inch shallows and deeps uh, with the capri set it'll range everywhere from four millimeters to 15 and then if you get the 3 8 set it'll range all the way from eight to 22 uh, I opted to go ahead and just buy the shallows, mids, and deeps of the 23s and 24s just to have them as working for uh, Honda. I do find myself using the 24s quite often. Uh, and then the half inch set will come starting at 10 millimeters all the way up to 27, which is nice. Uh, I've never found myself needing a 28. So it's worked out perfectly. You can kind of tell maybe on camera which sockets have uh, been used the most. Uh, but anyways, and uh, impact by the way. Uh, I wanted to go impact because I wanted to be able to use these sockets on my impact gun if need be. And the last thing you want to do is use a chrome socket on an impact gun. Go to either tighten or break whatever bolt or nut you're trying to get off and uh, you destroy your socket. That that sucks. So I don't have a true chrome socket set. To be honest with you, the only sockets I do have, besides from that DeWalt kit that you saw earlier, uh, are these impact sockets and they have treated me very well. 
Um, I've used these on my wrenches, or my, I'm sorry, I've used these on my ratchets, no problem. And uh, my ratchets have not broken on me, so um, it's worked out very well for me. If you hear background noise, by the way, there's one other technician here, and he's just doing his thing. He's doing his thing, jamming out. Can I blame him? Absolutely not, man. Do your thing. Uh, to finish off the top here, we've got uh, safety glasses. You never know when you're going to need them. We've got some indicator paste. Uh, got to use that uh, anytime you're torquing a bolt down. Not everyone does it, but I personally do it because, yeah, I, I like to, you know, remember what I torque down, and this is the way I remember what I torque down. So, little uh, pocket screwdriver. Always need one of these in the in the arsenal. Uh, brake pad measurement tool here. Uh, always good to know. The uh, current condition of your brake pads, you gotta know what size thickness they are, how much pad life you have remaining. Uh, we got two uh, tread depth gauges here to measure tires. Uh, this one works fantastic. I honestly need to just th throw that one away. That's going in the trash, gone. Um, but that's the top here. So every morning that I'm here, come in and this is what I greet myself with um, my nice few hundred dollars worth of uh, sockets uh, and then moving up by the way um, hello got the US general this is where I typically hold my keys uh, just some stickers BC racing PRL hybrid racing and last fit automotive LED uh, these stickers all um, represent the modifications that I've done in my car uh, and these are the companies that I will always recommend to uh, Honda enthusiasts looking to uh, do some upgrades on their car but nonetheless moving over I did this is also kind of another recent purchase to be honest with you as uh, a side table here and man let me tell you when rolling this thing around doing like brake jobs and stuff like that it has been tremendously helpful having this table as uh, I can put old pads, new pads here. Um, I can go ahead off to the side here, whip up some uh, ultra brake parts, lubricate, lubricate uh, the specific parts needed. And then sometimes you'll even use some anti-seize. But anywho, for brake jobs, this table is very, very nice to have. And it's also nice just to set my tools down for uh, basic maintenances. So uh, wrenches, ratchets, old filter pliers, um, cutters, needle nose pliers, that kind of thing, which we're actually going to get into. The first top drawer here to the left, we have got the Pittsburgh dual sided one side three eighths the other side quarter inch uh, this is my second one you can tell it hasn't really been used much because by the time I got this second one um, I ended up not needing it so I rarely use this thing um, but it is here if I ever do need it um, I use this thing religiously because the first one that I had was my first ratchet um, and like I said, I use this thing religiously to the point where I needed to get a brand new one. Um, but this one has actually, honestly, never been used and probably will never be used, but it is always there just in case. Uh, moving down here, just um, old filter pliers. Uh, these have uh, gotten me through um, really stubborn old filters, to be honest with you, and they've worked fantastic. I've had no problems with this. Over here, we have a couple of different uh, old filter, uh, what do you call these things, man? Um, caps, I guess, to help break old filters loose. One here for Hondas, and uh, this Capri one here is for Toyotas. So sometimes you end up working on Toyotas. It's nice to have the uh, official Toyota oil filter uh, cap here to break those suckers loose. Hiding in the back, we got some razors, some uh, Scotch-Brite for doing uh, tire patches from inside the tire, as well as 
actual tire patches. Always nice to have a couple of those on standby as walking to parts constantly to grab these things sucks. So might as well just grab a few of them and keep them with you so you're saving yourself uh, some time there. Moving over, uh, we have both Icons 3 8 and half inch. The 3 8 non-flex head, I use this day to day, as you can tell. Um, it has been an absolute, absolute beast. Um, no problems whatsoever. Still my first uh, Icon 3 8 ratchet, and I've not had to replace this, so good job, Icon. And the same goes for the half inch here, half inch flex head. Um, very nice to have, by the way. But same goes for this guy. Never had to replace it. So Icon makes some really solid ratchets. Uh, ratchets, I can I can tell you that much. So second drawer here, we have our pliers drawer, pretty much. Um, these being two of the newest. We've got the 45 degree long. Uh, needle nose. This has actually been really handy to have, to be honest with you. Uh, we have some adjustable pliers. These things, uh, I would compare to like the Nipex or the channel locks. And to be honest with you, I, I've never had the Nipex or the channel lock pliers, adjustable pliers, that is. Um, but these Icon ones have been awesome to have. And uh, they've helped me through some uh, tough situations, that's for sure. Couple uh, tools from Quinn, uh, which is also Harbor Freight. We've got just the standard needle nose pliers and then the dikes, uh, cutters, whatever you want to call them. I call them dikes. Um, these guys have worked out great for me, no problems. And then we have uh, some Amazon or I believe Home Depot, still maybe, uh, but Black & Decker, um, just standard pliers. Um, these guys have been great for getting stubborn oil caps off, and that is about it. Not gonna lie. Uh, we got a pick set mixed between Milwaukee and Husky. Uh, pick set's super nice to have for, say, O rings. Um, you just gotta be careful because it's picks, so obviously they're sharp. Um, if you're putting a new O ring on with the picks, I advise. Uh, You'd be very cautious, but if you're getting the old O-rings off, then uh, have at it. Top drawer on the right here, we have the brand new set that I actually just recently made a video on of the Icon uh, mechanic set. So you've got the four flatheads and the four Phillips, um, which have worked uh, so far good. I've only used this one. I actually used this one earlier today to get a new ball joint boot seated in properly. And I may have touched this one earlier today as well, I believe. That's uh, that's the upgrade from compared to this guy over here. Um, this will be officially the home set and this will be the official work set. Um, got our tire pressure uh, gauge um, that way we can obviously air up or air out tires um, I really love this I got this off of Amazon Arcan professional tools I've had this for uh, many many months and it has not failed me once um, and it's also a very nice uh, stainless steel line um, I went that route because I know a lot of these uh, tire pressures gauges they have the, the rubber lines and uh, well, rubber eventually gets to the point where it fails so I've kind of figured why not get the stainless steel option it'll last me a lot longer uh, and then hiding in the corner here is our oil specific uh, torque wrench for oil drain bolts preset to 31 foot pounds so that you never over tighten or under tighten a Honda at least uh, oil drain bolt so super nice to have that moving down here we have our capri tools drawer um, let's see this was uh, one of those things where i did not need to 
buy the entire set. It was absolutely unnecessary to do such a thing, but I did it anyways. So you have your air gun with a bunch of different extensions, uh, different style nozzles, um, and a chip guard, which I have never used. Um, as you can tell, it's, yeah, never been used. I've actually probably is the first time I pulled that out. Um, off to the side over here, we have um, surprisingly a very uh, solid set of, uh, Jesus, pry tools. Um, can't go wrong with a solid set of pry tools here. Um, and Capri honestly makes a fantastic set for uh, a great price, in my opinion. So I haven't really used these top three, to be honest with you. Uh, but these bottom threes are the tried and trues. Uh, these are what get me through uh, the plastics uh, as well as not damaging the plastics. Um, so thank you Capri for uh, not only making my life easier, but uh, also making quality pry tools that won't damage customer vehicles. I have uh, these uh, other pry tools over here. These are from Acuity. I got these when I bought the uh, adjustable short throw shifter for my car. Um, because I knew I was going to need these to gain access to the shifter assembly. Uh, we have the impact screwdriver set here in this uh, little box. Let's open this guy up, show you real quick. Impact screwdriver. Uh, obviously, this is going to be used for those uh, tough rotor screws, break them loose. And yeah, that's honestly it. This guy fell out from its spot. Um, these ones I've used the most, obviously you could tell that uh, these have had their fair share of use, but they're still somehow going strong. Uh, even this one over here. So, and then it's nice, they include uh, even extended ones as well, which I've slightly used on this one. But uh, yeah, not much. Put back in, close this up, uh, and then to finish this drawer off, to be honest with you, aside from some clean wipes, uh, is the Jesus 8 ounce uh, Proto Anti-Vibe Ball Peen Hammer. Um, this is my first ever hammer, and uh, it's an 8 ounce, it's, it's good to have when uh, you're not trying to be super harmful on whatever you're hitting. Um, even though it is metal, uh, it is light enough to where you're not going to damage um, whatever it is you're hitting. Unless you're just absolutely going to town with it. In that case, yes, you might damage some of that stuff. So, And then, last but not least, the bottom drawer here, we're going to have this uh, nice socket extension set here from uh, Duratech, which is Amazon. Um, we got a mix of quarter inch, three eighths and half inch uh, socket extensions. We've got some spark plug sockets, which I've never used. And we have adapters for half inch to three fourths, half inch to three eighths, three eighths to half inch, three eighths to quarter inch, quarter inch to three eighths. And then we also have universal joint sockets and uh, slight 3 8 drive to extension to one and a half. Um, never use those in the corner here. And then on top of that, uh, Honda Bond. Always, as a technician, need to keep some Honda Bond on standby. Never know when you're gonna need it. And honestly, sometimes it's hard to get. So always nice to have some extra. Uh, let's see. Obviously, what stands out, the Milwaukee half-inch uh, impact. This thing has been an absolute beast. Um, I bought this used off of a good friend. Um, it kind of came in probably a little bit cleaner condition than what it's looking like now. Um, but nonetheless, it has gotten the job done. And uh, yeah, I got it for an absolute steal. So couldn't, can't go wrong with uh, having a nice half inch Milwaukee uh, impact. Uh, obviously the 
battery will go along with it and then the battery charger there. Um, but that's what I keep down here. And then alongside with the uh, brake piston depressor, um, super nice to have, uh, obviously. Otherwise, you're not gonna be depressing pistons very easily. This is the tool to get it done uh, with ease. And then to end it off here, show you real quick the Hulk man. This thing uh, has been an absolute game changer. Little backstory, my first week of working here, I probably had to go jump start like three vehicles and I didn't have a jump at the time. Uh, so I found myself borrowing this one technician's jump box every time. And it got to the point where I was like, screw it. I'm done asking to borrow this man's jump. I'm gonna go get my own. And I got this off of Amazon, which is weird now because they don't sell it on Amazon. But anyways, the Hulkman jump box, jump starter, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, gas up to 8.5 liters, diesel up to six liters. Uh, this thing has been an absolute beast. I've never had a problem where I hook this guy up and it's not able to jump a vehicle unless the vehicle is just absolutely shot, which in that case, nothing's gonna start it. But uh, this thing has been an absolute beast. And it's been nice to have uh, as well when doing like software updates, because you obviously you're gonna have the vehicle in accessory mode when you're doing those updates. And uh, you want something to keep that battery uh, charged. So just slap this guy onto that battery, do the updates, and uh, not have to worry about draining the battery. So. This I highly recommend as a starter tech, wherever you're at, um, you know, working on a ton of vehicles, you never know when you're gonna need it. And like I said, I mean, you're gonna not have it and then you're gonna have to go jump a car and then you're running around the shop trying to find a tech that's got one. And then you're like, screw this, I wasted so much time doing that, I'm just gonna buy my own, so. That is pretty much it uh, at the bottom here, if you're really interested. Um, just spare supplies that I've uh, kind of collected uh, working here. And then the little black uh, bottle there is just a uh, air uh, brake clean bottle. So spray it, spray is brake clean. That's, <laughs> that's about it. Some mechanics gloves I hardly ever use, but they're there if uh, I ever need it. And uh, we got some transfer tubes or transfer hoses. Uh, that is for my uh, transfer pump for when I'm transferring new fluid um, from the bottle to uh, the transmission, just depending on where the fill bolt is located. But that's pretty much it of all I have in my US General Series 2 roll cart. Hopefully y'all enjoyed that. Um, not a lot really going on. Well, there's a solid amount in there, but there's even more uh, in this thing right here. Now, let me tell you something. Uh, I'm gonna start by saying this. snap sent me the wrong box. Could you imagine that? You pay a absurd amount of money for one of these guys and uh, they send you the wrong one. That's crazy. Uh, this is a 10 drawer, 55 inch, uh, snap-on box. Uh, I bought a nine drawer, 55 inch, with a power bank drawer, or a uh, power drawer. And yeah, this is what they sent me. So I have been back and forth with them for months trying to get the one that I actually bought, but they were nice enough to say that uh, I could go ahead and use this one as a loaner in the meantime until my actual box gets here. But Here's another thing. Let me say that you do not need this as a starter tech. I have moved up um, since working here and I've been doing bigger jobs. Um, so I'm kind of in the midst between um, kind of more advanced um, services and um, doing more doing more R&R &R, um, on parts. So. Um, with that, I needed to buy more tools and the five drawer just wasn't gonna cut it. So being in school for Honda, uh, obviously will get me 
a, a discount with Snap-on, which is how I was able to do this. Otherwise, uh, I would not have this. I would have probably bought, you know, a US General 55 inch, uh, be that it may. Uh, but because I got such a deal for this box, not this one, but the one I bought, um, it made sense. And I was able to get on a payment plan for two years and pay X amount of dollars and we're making it work. So in two years, all of this Snap-on uh, stuff that I've acquired will be paid off. And by that time, uh, I'll be done with school. And yeah, that's pretty much it. But uh, if you're wondering up top, we've got uh, something always up here, the stream light, this thing, um, always gotta have a light. And it's nice having this one as it's bright enough to literally get anywhere that you need to see. Um, and then we've got this smaller stream light up here that is magnetized. Um, and this one's great for when working uh, on a vehicle, you can stick this to any metal surface or you can even hang it, have the light on while working. Uh, three different modes here, the white, the warm, and then UV for uh, when you're doing AC leaks uh, diagnosis so super nice to have that uh, the wallet pretty much stays up here yes um, and then the UE uh, mega boom I believe it is um, gotta have something to play music while working just like earlier if you heard it I don't know if you did or not but fellow technician homie on the other side of the shop just jamming out doing his thing can't blame them but uh moving on i don't want to make this video extremely long and dragged out so we will show you what we got going on here on the top drawer um all right lots of snap-on goodies here i'm not gonna lie to you um starting off to the far left we've got a long 3 8 flex head snap-on ratchet absolutely love this thing um it is a, a beast. It's a beast, honestly. Uh, never had any problems with it. Nice. Uh, we also have the, um, what is it? The 180 degree swivel uh, 3 8 from Snap-on. Also extremely nice to have. We have the same version, but in quarter inch, which is awesome because majority of the time that I'm using quarter inch is literally in this direction right here straight on so super nice to have these not gonna lie uh back here we have the half inch uh i promise it's a ratchet but this thing gets used more like a breaker bar <laughs> um but it's a half inch ratchet and it absolutely destroys whatever bolt you cannot get loose i am telling you every time that i have had a stubborn bolt uh, just not able to come off. I've used that half an inch ratchet and it has done the job flawlessly. Um, now, if there was ever a time where it just would not break loose, I've yet to need to use this personally. I've had other techs, you know, ask to borrow this tool, but I don't have it. Uh, I have not used it myself, but that is the half inch breaker bar absolute just monstrosity this thing is just almost as long as the drawer um but like i said i've yet to have to use this and uh really it's one of those tools where it's just like hopefully you don't have to use it because first off using a breaker bar means that uh someone messed something up um and hopefully you could save it with uh the breaker bar but like i said i you know don't have plans on using this but it's there if i ever need it um yeah moving on uh, in this little bag right here we have the oh another thing i you know really didn't need to buy the whole set for but um why not right the snap on vice grips um never know when you're going to need a vice grip and i kind of figured why not have uh, their whole set here, so it's been real nice to have, I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty much it there. Uh, these guys right here, okay. 
Let's talk about money real quick because these suckers are not cheap, but they are absolutely uh, super duper handy to have. The 3 8 and then in here the half inch um, digital torque wrench. This one ranges all the way from five foot pounds to either 125 or 150 foot pounds. Um, I can't remember, I, I, I believe it's 150. Um, and then the half inch here uh, ranges all the way from 50 to 250, I believe. Um, and they have been amazing. The accuracy uh, is absolute par. Um, uh, never had, you know, any incorrect torque to bolts. Um, they, they, they're, they're amazing. That's, that's all I can say. Um, and the fact that they're digital just uh, is, uh, you don't need digital, let me say that right off the bat, but it's just extremely nice to have. And like I said, um, all of these snap-on tools I got on a heavily discounted rate because of being a uh, Honda Pack student. So that gets you, uh, that gets you this super nice discounts with all the uh, tool truck companies, but I decided to opt with snap-on obviously. Um, and then the only thing I didn't do, this for whatever reason should not be in there. Um, the only thing I didn't do was buy the quarter inch uh, digital snap-on torque wrench. Yes. Did not go with the quarter inch snap on because <laughs> as funny as it is, that little sucker is more expensive than the half inch and the three eighths for whatever reason. Uh, so I went ahead and just bought a, uh, dude, I think I probably got this for 50, $60 off of Amazon. And this is just a quarter inch, uh, torque wrench. These are great and majority or most of the time used um, for airbag recalls. Thanks, Honda. Yeah, and it's uh, in black, which is uh, super sleek. And it goes all the way from 10 inch pounds to 150. Um, always remember to store these style torque wrenches to their lowest setting um, as that's what they recommend you do. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't know why, but make sure you do it. Uh, we have right here a damaged screw and nut slash bolt extractor. Uh, I haven't really used this, um, but I have had other technicians come up to me asking to borrow it. Um, this is one of those things you definitely don't need, but it's nice to have in a situation um, where you, you, you got a damaged uh, bolt or nut that just is rounded off to high hell and uh, you can't get it off. So you want something like that to get it off. I mean, that's, that's, that's it. That's, that's all that's it there. Um, underneath it, we have the 48 piece uh, re-threading set. Uh, this is the tap and die set from Snap-on. Um, this was probably another thing where it's like an absolute absurd amount of money uh, for something like this. But snap on, um, I believe the tap and die set is lifetime warranty. So um, if any of these do break, uh, you can get with the snap on truck guy and uh, he'll warranty it out for you. Free replacement, which is nice. Um, I have used these. Um, more often than not um every day no but more than i would like to let me just put it that way um some of them from uh, some personal mistakes i've made and others uh just things that i found that needed fixing but great set to have moving off to the side we have the snap-on uh box cutter if you may um, I'm still on blade number one which by the way also has a auto loading feature and uh, this thing has been amazing cuts through anything uh, except metal obviously uh, like a champ cutting boxes tape plastics all that type of stuff does what it needs to do 
And then last but not least, up here we have exhaust hanger removal pliers. When you're working on exhaust and you need to remove the exhaust, uh, say you're doing fuel tanks, um, having that is super duper nice. I did one fuel tank job without those. I hated life. And then I haven't done a fuel tank job since, but I have used it on uh, an exhaust that did need to be removed. Uh, another technician had a fuel tank job. And I was like, let me use my tool because I wanna see how well it works. It works awesome. This is Aries, by the way, and uh, Amazon, if you're wondering. So, drawer number one, drawer number two, is kind of uh, wrenches, capri, uh, full sets here. Someone stole my 10 and I decided to upgrade it to the, uh, what is the, uh, the wave drive for capri it is. Um, so where you won't round off bolts or nuts. Um, but I decided to upgrade this one and it doesn't fit properly, which kind of sucks. But anyways, full set uh, metric ranging from six all the way to 24. And then this is a more recent set. And let me tell you, did not need the whole set here for the 75 degree offset wrenches, but it's just nice to have. You never know when you're gonna, you know, say need a 24 on a 75 degree, um, whatever you're hitting. But regardless, uh, it's a nice set to have. And uh, Capri is also Amazon, by the way. Um, and they also do have their own website. If you weren't aware, capritools.com. Um, so you could buy it off of Amazon or directly from their website. And yeah, these wrenches, um, they're the only wrenches I have. And so far, uh, within the first year of owning them, uh, they have done me very, very well. And Capri does also have lifetime warranty on the metals. So uh, if you had the ratchets or wrenches, uh, or even sockets, uh, all lifetime warranty, which is super nice. My second hammer and the one of two, uh, so this is actually the two of two. Uh, this is the only other hammer that I have. I need to upgrade my hammer collection, I know. Um, but this is the three pound Fat Max Antivibe from Stanley, not Proto, but from Stanley. Um, this thing is a beast when I gotta put in uh, some work on uh, whatever I'm just going to town on. So, super nice to have. Clipboard, uh, nice to just write things down and on, obviously. Um, right here we have a, uh, geez, what is this, caliper tool. Um, use this to measure uh, rotor thickness as of right now. That's what I use it for. Um, yeah, that's that. And then we have the snap-on 3.8, long neck ratchet uh, up to 40 foot pounds. Super nice. S recent pickup here is the Snap-on Slim headlamp. Um, I had a Amazon headlamp and uh, it gave out after like two months. So I was like, you know what? Let me spend the extra money and uh, get something that I know is gonna last me a long time. Currently it's dead shame on me um, but I have used it and it has helped me out tremendously uh, when I am in dark spaces yep I also kind of hoard boxes as you can tell we got the box for the uh, 3 8 snap on uh, long neck ratchet if you're wondering parts uh, or part number there you go and uh, this is the full set so you'll get the Long neck, 3 8 ratchet, uh, alongside with two batteries and the charger. And that's the second drawer. I gotta try to pick this up, my phone is dying. Uh, we have a lot of empty drawers in here, so this drawer is uh, for, what do we got? A spark plug gapper tool right here. Can't ever go wrong with one of these. Always wanna make sure the spark plugs are properly gapped. And then we've got some feeler gauges and a valve uh, adjustment tool, one for the nut and then the flathead obviously. Um, this thing is super cool, great to have. And I obviously keep it on a rag because uh, of oils. So I don't wanna get any oils 
on this, considering this isn't even my box. So eventually we'll go bye-bye whenever I do get my new one, but in the meantime, it's what I'm using. Second drawer right here, uh, we have the 3 8 snap-on impact. Uh, this thing uh, in the, I don't know if this one's also dark titanium. Uh, it might be, but I'm just in love with the snap-on gray, uh, as you could tell. Um, if I could afford a high output snap-on uh, half inch uh, impact, I would buy one, but as of right now, I can't. So I'm settling with the Milwaukee in the other drawer. Um, but I also did buy this one as a set. So it'll come with the uh, 3 8 If you're wondering, by the way, at least the part number for the gun, CT9010GM. So, and then it'll come with the two batteries and the charger. Uh, every technician has a drunk, drunk drawer, sure, totally. Junk drawer is what I meant to say. This is kind of a mix between junk and not junk, to be honest with you. We do have a lot of uh, empty boxes, uh, a set of batteries in here. We have a electronic transfer pump that is really in here. There we go. We've got an electric transfer pump from Harbor Freight. Super handy to have, to be honest with you. And uh, this sucker right here, which I got uh, this last Christmas from my mom. Appreciate you, mom. Uh, this is going to be the axle nut socket set ranging from 29 all the way to 39 and it does skip um i don't know if there's ever such thing as a 31 or you know 37 but you've got 29 30 32 33 34 35 36 38 39 hondas uh everything that i've used 36 and they are 12 point uh, i have had Fellow technicians walk up to me and ask me why I got the 12 point. It was a gift. And honestly, having the 12 points nice, I won't lie. Um, they say that uh, you could potentially round off that, uh, that nut, but yeah, that hasn't happened yet. So thanks. All right, slim drawers. Uh, this is where literally just this and uh, a nice little uh, grabbing tool here for if you drop something and you need to pick it back up but it's in a hard to reach spot nice to have literally nothing also nothing now we have something okay cool uh, the boxes by the way uh, if you're interested in part numbers Cordless drill, by the way, uh, super nice to have. Love this thing. Obviously, as a set, comes with the charger and the two batteries. And then I bought this guy um, separate. But this is the Blue Point 52 piece, absolutely unnecessary, but very, very nice to have. Um, I have had to get one bit warrantied out. Does it stand out from the crowd? Not really, but it's this guy right here. Um, I was using this one day and the bit literally just snapped in half. Had a uh, fellow technician uh, take it to the snap-on guy because um, I'm not here when the snap-on guy arrives and uh, exchange it for me. And instead of exchanging it for a blue point, he exchanged it for a snap-on one. Uh, quality difference? I don't know, um, but very nice of them to do that for free considering how much money you spend with them. And last drawer. We have, uh, let's see, Pittsburgh uh, click type torque wrench. That is a 3 8 never gets touched anymore. Uh, we have tire plug set here for plugging uh, tires. Uh, nice to have, but used to use them can't use them anymore long story anyways still have it here um more capri tools this is what i was kind of talking about when uh it's just one of those things you don't really need to go all out on but it's nice to have 
This is like the master's set of the hex. Variety of sizes here ranging from seven all the way up to a, Jesus, what is that? Uh, 18, 19. And then you even have SAE sizes as well, which is super dope. And then basically same thing, just uh, Torx. Nice Torx set here. Absolute, uh, no reason to buy the entire set, but like I said, nice to have. And then uh, got some, 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 we got some uh, brake caliper uh, holder tools while you're exchanging pads or rotors, resurfacing rotors, whatever you're doing. Uh, super nice to have these. And then this is something that was just absolutely not necessary to buy, but the uh, it's upside down, I know. But the pneumatic brake caliper wind back tool with literally every adapter you could think of. And you're thinking pneumatic wind back tool? Uh, yeah. So for the caliper pistons that require you to have some form of adapter and then have to turn it in instead of pushing it in, um, this is where this sucker right here comes extremely handy. Very nice to have, I will say. Um, yeah. That's pretty much it. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed that uh, as much as I did. I'm extremely beat after a long day of work. But that is everything. Oh, 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 oh. Can't forget. Um, man, just kind of like my chill area, I guess. But also, I set stuff here. Um, fridge mini fridge with uh let me guess dr pepper still in here fellow technician likes to put their drinks in here i totally am cool with it but he always forgets about it all good mm, some waters can't ever go wrong stay hydrated uh and then the one tool that i honestly hate leaving out um but i don't want to put it in there or i don't really want to put it in there either so i leave it over here is the um vacuum brake bleeder set from oh geez uh i think they're like no name brand is is what they're called but this is a speedy vac um vacuum brake bleeder along with the overfill bottle and someone decided to write brake fluid on my shit and uh it's slowly been coming off so that's nice uh, as i don't appreciate people writing on my stuff uh, and here we have just a couple of um, bungees, always nice to have bungees, trust. Uh, this is the, this is what I was talking about earlier, the transfer pump for transferring new fluids into, say, transmissions or whatever, your, even uh, rear differentials uh, for rear diff fluid. But super nice to have that as well. Um, that's pretty much it, tool-wise. That's, y'all literally just saw all my tools. Wow. Underneath, uh, we have an abundance of fluids. Um, I reuse the coolant bottles as washer fluid bottles because uh, we do top off fluids here, obviously. Um, oil bottle right there. And then a bunch of Zac coolant uh, conditioners and uh, some automatic trans conditioners as well. Um, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. Not a fan of using that stuff. As Honda says, don't use anything but their fluids. Set this right back up here so y'all can see me as I kind of end this video out. It's been extremely long. Will I edit this tonight? Probably not. So I don't know when y'all are going to see this video, but uh, maybe tomorrow. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll have the energy tomorrow to do it, but I can tell you right now, don't have the energy to do it. So I do hope you all enjoyed uh, seeing everything that I have acquired as uh, a little over one year as a technician now. Obviously the snap-on stuff being uh, extremely crazy for a, a young technician, um, but do keep in mind 
um, I'm getting a sweet, sweet deal on uh, the Snap-on stuff uh, with the Student Excellence Program, uh, if you're wondering. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm ready to get out of here. So thank you guys for watching. Appreciate y'all hanging out. Uh, if you made it all the way to the very end without skipping, you're an absolute fucking real one, and I appreciate you a lot. Uh, thank you very much. Um, for those of you that skip through bits and pieces, totally understand. I probably wouldn't sit through and watch my video all the way uh, if I didn't have to. But I'm going to have to because this video clearly has to be edited somehow. And I want to make sure that it's, it's nice for y'all. So thanks again. I'm going to get out of here. Uh, it is time to go the heck home and relax for the rest of the day. And yeah, maybe... Uh, Maybe next video, something like this, we'll do a uh, year two and see what new tools I have accumulated by that time. So thanks again. Appreciate you guys watching. Please do feel free to leave a like if you haven't already. And uh, if you honestly dislike this video, then um, that's cool too. Remember, the uh, subscribe button is uh, free on YouTube. So feel free to subscribe uh, for free. And... Uh, Hit the notification bell icon as to uh, be notified the next time I decide to upload a video similar to this. Maybe. I don't know. Um, to be honest, I wasn't sure if I could actually film in my workspace. Um, so we'll see what happens because I've got a camera literally watching me at all times. So will I hear anything about this? Maybe. Maybe not. We'll find out. But anyways, thanks again. Appreciate you guys for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day, evening, and night, whatever time you're seeing this. Catch you on the next one. Peace.